In this video, we are going to add the 40 analyzer um, through the 40 gate. So we are going to enable that on the 40 gate, and then we are going to go to the 40 analyzer, and it's going to be under the um, unauthorized devices in here. And we are going to be able to just authorize that, and we are going to be able to, um, you know, add it to the manage device over here in 40 analyzer. So let's go ahead and log in to the 40 gate and we're going to go to log and report log settings in here you want to go ahead and enable 40 analyzer so the IP address is going to be once 172.16.1.2 right and we are going to uncheck the verify 40 analyzer certificates and what else are we doing I think this is is it for now and let's go ahead and press apply and if you want to authorize it you can do that but for some reason it's just not loading um, if you do try again it's just not loading the 40 analyzer but that's fine you can go ahead and press ok or press close hit apply just close it and one more thing let's go ahead and go to the CLI let's go to config so config log 40 analyzer setting and here you're going to show, do show so you can see that we have this set, the set certificate verification to disable and the set upload time to one minute and you have to make sure that you set the reliable to set it reliable to enable so make sure that you have that one to this to enable and set verification set certification verification to disable because we don't have a trusted certificate so and that that is great and it's still it's still saying unauthorized so if we go into the 40 analyzer now we can see it over here on their unauthorized devices and we can see this 40 gate VM coming in here and you can see the IP address you can see the serial number, so Ensign 0438. I mean, if you wanna just be careful and make sure that this is the correct one, you can go to dashboard, status, and under status, you're going to see over here 0438. So it matches that device that we want to add. So you can go ahead and go to authorize, and that's going to authorize that connection and there we go it has been added so now if we go to all login devices you can see right here we have real-time logs here's the 40 gate VM 64 and here's the IP address of that VM so it is connecting via the 172.16 that one that zero slash 24 network that we configure right that's the way we wanted it if we go to settings and a network yep that was the port that we configure and that's the way that we wanted to connect to it because there's nothing else enabled on that interface just to be secured look at that looking good so now if we go into the 40 gates login report log settings and you can see now the status is connected the storage use we can see what we have in here so we are uploading action is every minute so every minute we are going to be sending our logs here are our daily logs sent to 40 analyzer you can even send logs to syslog if you want to you can configure syslog over here but we're not going to do that um, event login so the log settings so that the event login if you what do you want to send we are going to send all the event login the local traffic log I'm just gonna say we want to send it all send them all just produce let's produce a lot press ok in here so we are connected if we go into oh yeah but we can see we here the storage use we have sent 4.87 uh, megabytes out of the 50 that we are 
um, that we were allocated in Fort Analyzer. And let's go ahead and go to the fabric connectors. If we go to the fabric connector, in here we can see that we have a fabric connection with Fort Analyzer. And, and Fort Analyzer is logging right now. And you can just click on it to edit, but you can see um, that we are, we are uh, we have allow access to 40 gates rest as SBI. So looking good over here. And let's see if we have sent more traffic. Not much really. Go back to 40 analyzer. And we can see it over here in real time. You can see the logs that we have sent. Here's a rate. Yep, so looking good. So yeah, we were successfully able to add a 40 a 40 gate firewall from the 40 gate. So we just configure the right the IP address of the 40 analyzer. We were able to connect to it. And after that, we had to authorize it. So we went in here and authorize it. And we were able to um, finish that connection, right? So that is great. Now in the next video, we are going to be using the 40 analyzer to add this 40 gate firewall. So I will see you on the next video, guys. Bye-bye.